What intrigues me about uh, my work from the Quab and, and what has drawn me there initially and keeps me going back is that there's so much there. It is a place that is so important as a natural resource. It supplies water to um, uh, nearly half of the state, something we take for granted. It is an accidental wilderness of the first order. It is beautiful. There's wildlife. It's, it's a place where people can go to stop and think and to really experience themselves away from the crowd. It's also a place of history uh, that exists because of the sacrifices of the um, residents of the four towns, several thousand, who were put off the land uh, 75 years ago, actually, this month, is when those towns were disincorporated by the state. This is probably one of the most important historical uh, icons um, within the reservoir itself. This is at Gate 30, which is in New Salem. But uh, you can see this bridge was actually built in 1866, and it was built by um, a gentleman who was just back from the war, a Mr. Porter, and uh, it was built for $55. The forest is not the easiest place to do photography, especially fine art photography. So you have to think about ways of approaching the subject that really are going to do justice to the uh, subject and at the same time uh, do justice to the people viewing it. So I rely on a variety of techniques, one of which is the use of an infrared converted, actually Nikon D200, which as you can see causes the foliage to pop and can let you see the outlines of the trees in a way that makes them almost seem to come alive. This image happens to be of Goodnote Dyke, which is uh, one of the two main structures that holds back the water of the different branches of the Swift River and uh, makes the Quabbin the Quabbin.